you are now live. Awesome. Good evening and welcome to the Stonecrest Transportation Advisory Committee. We are calling this meeting to order at 7.05. Um, can we do roll call, please? Yes. Um, Councilwoman Tammy Grimes. Erica Williams. Present. Here. Present. Present. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Bernard Knight. Present. Calvin Lawrence. Alan Burnett. Present. Councilman George Turner. Here. J.W. Eady. Here. Allie Moore. Kendra Price. Present. Okay. We have a quorum. Awesome. Calvin Lawrence is present. He must be on mute, but I do see him. Calvin Lawrence is present. Tammy, I, I thought I unmuted myself. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Yes, we can hear you. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to move on through the agenda. Recognition of resolution of creation. Um, the city council found that the public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of Stonecrest, as well as its interests of the city, of Stonecrest public trans transportation options and its stakeholders will best be served by establishing a Stonecrest Transportation Advisory Steering Committee, which will be comprised of public citizens of the city of Stonecrest. Um, so the resolution was generated and it went before council. And here we are, our first meeting uh, as a Transportation Advisory Committee. Um, public comments. Do we have any, Ms. Harris? Yes, we have one public comment. One moment. Okay. It says, good evening, Councilman Turner and other transportation committee members. As you review your purpose and your objective, tonight, I hope that you will focus not only on cars and trucks and trains and buses, but also equally on pedestrians and bicyclists. While Stonecrest has probably the premier multi-use trail system in the region, we remain woefully behind in connecting people to the places they go, woefully behind. Think for a second about the answers to these questions. How many of you can safely walk to a grocery store or even a dollar store? How many of you can ride to one of our parks or libraries or schools in a safe bike lane? This is a trick question. I don't think we have any bike lanes in Stonecrest. How many of you live on streets that either have no sidewalks or have sidewalks that don't connect to other sidewalks that connect to places you want to go? Our city's walkability is poor other than the path trail. Our city's bicycle friendliness is poor other than the path trail, but the path trail connects only to a few neighborhoods. Everyone else has to either take their car or take their lives in their hands to get to the trails. I ask that you make addressing these neighborhood to destination issues one of the committee's goals, and I suggest that in order to make sure it doesn't get lost among bigger problems, such as rapid transit, Panola Road improvements, Browns Mill, truck traffic, et cetera, you form a subcommittee to study these problems and make suggestions for the committee as a whole to consider. Thank you, Dave Marcus, District 5. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Harris. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, review of committee's charge and objective. Madam Chair. So, yes. Uh, may I interfere again? Absolutely. Uh, we did not do an introduction of the members. And if we could, uh, other than Mr. Kelly Jordan, who's a guest, uh, have a quick introduction as to who's on the committee. Absolutely. I mean, um, just a little. Uh, two or three, well, not two or three minutes, but a few seconds uh, of the background and district represented. Absolutely. So I'll start with myself. I'm Erica Williams. I represent uh, District 1, and I've been involved uh, with the city of Stonecrest um, on different levels, and it's an honor to serve on the Transportation Committee. Mr. E. call on from the way down the screen. Yes. A.W. Edie, I've been in Stonecrest, I, I'll say I've been down here 14 years and I've been involved with the replanning commission. And also I've been involved with my community, Neighborhood Watch and things of, of that nature. Mr. 
Mr. Burnett. I'm Alan Burnett. I'm, I'm the director of resource development for Lehigh Hanson. We run the, the large um, aggregate quarry in Stonecrest. And uh, I'm very pleased to be here. Obviously, we, um, we major in the transportation industry. So um, very happy to be here and look forward to working with you all. Awesome. Attorney Knight. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, I'm Bernard Knight. I've been a resident of DeKalb County since uh, 1977 when I came down here to go to Emory Law School. Uh, I've been doing various things in the what is now the Stonecrest area, as well as Lithonia for a couple of decades now, uh, primarily uh, focusing on uh, zoning, permitting, governmental relations, I'm the chairperson of the Stonecrest Industrial Council. Uh, I have served on the board of the uh, Stonecrest Business Alliance. And uh, my clients and I are keenly interested in transportation issues, the freight cluster plan, to try to work out solutions which will be for the benefit of everybody and the protection of everybody in the city of Stonecrest. And I'm just so, feel so privileged and, and honored to be a part of this committee. Thank you. Mr. Lawrence. My name is Calvin. I'm the CTO for IBM um, Smarter Cities Organization. I kind of specialize in artificial intelligence. I'm in uh, uh, Kenny Grimes District. And I am excited to be a part of the team. I'm obviously taking some tests, been here for almost 20 years. I apologize for being in a car right now. I would in a normal sense, I would like to be in an office. But hopefully you guys will bear with me. Uh, again, I'm excited to be a part. Uh, not stuck in traffic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Kendra Price. Hey, thank you, Madam Chair. So Kendra Price, I do work at Emory University I'm in the Office of Government and Community Affairs. I am, have owned a home in Stonecrest, Lothonia for over 30 years now, and I live in District 4. And thank you for having me. Awesome. Did I miss any members? I think we got everybody. Council, Amir Partim, and Councilwoman Tammy Grimes, would you all like to say anything? I don't think we need any introduction. They know us by now. <laughs> and someone else is connecting. Someone else is Absolutely. connecting? Mr. Jordan, did you want to introduce yourself? No, um, let me introduce him. OK. Take it away. Um, before you go into your next uh, item, um, I had conversation with Mr. Kelly Jordan. Okay. Uh, who's very uh, prominent in the uh, Stonecrest area in South DeKalb in terms of working with the um, Arabia Mountain National Heritage Area. Mm -hmm. uh, and he has done so much work with the, uh, the PATH Foundation and so many other volunteer organizations. I'll let him give you the complete background. Uh, but he wanted to talk to us about a transportation issue that's very near and dear to us, and that is the, uh, the PATH. Uh, and what is... Well, I'll let him explain it, but uh, Mr. Kelly Jordan is a guest okay. this evening and he wants to make a presentation to us because we're gonna talk about a lot of transportation initiatives and he's just bringing one to us this evening. Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Councilman Turner. Uh, Ms. Chair Williams, can you hear me okay? I can, okay. yes, okay. absolutely. So, hello to you and council members. Grimes and Turner and members of the committee and any citizens of Stonecrest that are that are watching right now. I'm Kelly Jordan. I'm the co-founder of the Arabia Mountain Heritage Area Alliance back in 1998. So I've spent 24 years now working in, in Stonecrest. And um, one of the things that we've been proudest of is the alliance that we've that we've made happen is that multi-use uh, bike trail system that runs through the heritage area. We started on that about 20 years ago, working with the PATH Foundation. Uh, I think you're all familiar with it. Certainly, I think everybody knows it. Everybody uh, it enjoys it, um, you know, is thrilled about it. We're, we're currently, it's not just in Stonecrest, of course, it extends all the way to the Monastery of the Holy Spirit in Rockdale. And we're currently working with Henry County 
uh, on an extension that we've already begun uh, into a great site in, in Henry County. But the purpose of my talking today was just to recommend or request respectfully that the uh, Transportation Committee uh, consider establishing a special subcommittee that would focus on a creation of a multi-use trail plan for the city of Stonecrest. The idea would be that uh, the system that we already have in the, in the National Heritage Area uh, would extend out into the rest of the, of the, of the city, would, would help connect the people that live in different neighborhoods, and uh, you know whether they wanna use it to get to places they just wanna go or, or shop or worship or whatever. Um, it's something that pretty much every city that you know of in DeKalb or really in, in the state uh, has already done, whether we're talking Tucker or Sandy Springs or Dunwoody or, you know, or even cities like Noonan, Carrollton, Columbus, everybody loves the multi-use trail system. Um, Atlanta, of course, is doing the Beltline, you're all familiar with that. And DeKalb County government just uh, at its meeting this morning, um, approved uh, the creation of a, an update of their multi-use trail plan within a year. And that system could even include some uh, operation by DeKalb County, creation by DeKalb of additional trails in the city of Stonecrest. And if you're using SPLOS money, there's no, there's no prohibition against that. But the first step is to create, in my opinion, a subcommittee that'll focus on that and its first order of business I want to recommend would be uh, the hiring of the right consultant uh, to initiate a, a public process, um, not a bunch of planners going off in the room by themselves, but something where the citizens of Stonecrest get the opportunity to state what they value, you know, where they want to go. Stonecrest says a lot about live, work, and play, and these are all things that this trail system can promote. In the um, Stonecrest's own transportation master plan, that we participated in and its own parks and recreation master plan that we participated in, as well as DeKalb County's parks master plan, which they just completed either first or second on everybody's list was more of these multi-use trails. That's something that the people want. It is, I think, more properly thought of as a transportation project, even than a parks project. Um, it's a legitimate splost expense. Um, and most of these other cities that have accept, that have adopted master plans have been able to secure grants and other funding to help uh, with the creation of, of their trail systems. So we've had, I think, good success building the one that's in the National Heritage Area. Now we want to offer up our assistance as, as the team that has the most experience to help make it happen in a broader uh, way across this whole city of Stonecrest. And so tomorrow night, um, I will present before the SPLOST Advisory Committee of Stonecrest a recommendation to them uh, that they put this as a line item uh, in their SPLOST budget. There is a proposal on the table uh, from the PATH Foundation, the, the prominent nonprofit that does most of this in Georgia, but that'll be something for, for the city to consider. So Mr. Turner, I appreciate the opportunity to, to make this request uh, today that the committee create a, a subcommittee focused on multi-use trail and proceed to get a plan underway for Stonecrest. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Any questions from the committee, council? Let me, uh, let me just follow up with a comment. Sure. And that is that when we talked about the transportation committee, we wanted to make it a part of a, uh, another committee. But when we began to look at all of the elements of the, trans uh, the, the transportation initiatives in the Stonecrest area, it uh, had to take on a life of its own. And uh, if you uh, take a look at what's going to come next in terms of uh, what's on the agenda, you see that there are probably about six or seven initiatives in the transportation uh, areas. And this is only one of them. And uh, I think this one has some time sensitive uh, elements involved. So, uh, Mr. Jordan, uh, speak to that again about the time sensitiveness of this. Okay, I'm happy to. Um, to give an example, um, this week, we as the Alliance were approached by uh, several of the DeKalb County uh, commissioners independently uh, because of an earmark process that's going on in Washington, D.C. right now. You know, earmarks are back. For a while, they were 
they were banned, but now people in Congress are able to request special projects for their own districts. I think you've probably seen uh, some of that, that uh, Congressman Hank Johnson has, has, mm -hmm. has secured and, and, and our Senators Ossoff and Warnock uh, have secured. This money is out there. Um, there's other grants through the Atlanta Regional Commission that uh, some of the other jurisdictions in, in DeKalb have, have secured. And right now, if you wanna put it this way, the market is hot for path trails. But to qualify for these matching monies or these earmarks to get anywhere, you've got to have a comprehensive plan that's been properly done and, and, and you know, approved by the citizens, approved by the, the city council you know, and adopted by the city and have a, a demonstration project or two that is, that is shovel ready. Um, I think we, my personal opinion is we, we could have landed some of that money uh, right now if, if we had such a plan ready and hiring the right consultant. It's just a matter of getting it underway. I mean, it's probably gonna take the better part of a year. So I'm just advocating that, that, we, that we get going with it and not be left at the starting gate by every other city around. Okay. okay. So um, you're asking this committee and you'll be asking the SPAS committee to help put together that uh, recommendation for council. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we'll work, uh, well, I'll work with you. Let me speak for one. <laughs> we'll work together. <laughs> well, thank you. Look forward to that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your presentation. Did any of the uh, committee members have any questions or comments? No? Well, I hope the lack of comments means that everybody's excited about trails. Right. <laughs> yes. I was going to say that. Yes. We're definitely yeah. excited about those just trails. Be sure I, just want to be sure I know how to interpret the silence as, as, as agreement and, 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 right. and, not, and not indifference. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so all. much again for your presentation. And yes, Thank to you. take it back off, Ms. Price, we are excited about the trails and just the great things that can come. Uh, through the Transportation Committee for the Citizens of Stonecrest. So again, thank you, Mr. Joy, for your presentation and for being here with us tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to review the committee's charge and objectives. Um, and as a committee, um, if you all have your resolution in front of you, you can go along with me. But we've been charged to review very mo various modes of transportation, um, make recommendations to the City Council, um, of the most desired, um, most desired mode of tra public transportation for the Stonecrest area, explore various recommendations for trail study, um, and make recommendations to the city council, explore various past studies, um, and make recommendation, and then follow the development of the freight cluster study and make reports to the city council. Also, uh, be involved and make recommendations for public transit connectivity to MARTA. Um, and other regional mobility sources. Um, so the path is definitely in our uh, preview of responsibility. So this is gonna be great. Um, have anyone uh, start looking at the freight cluster study? Yes, no? No, is that available? I haven't seen it. It is. What I'll do is send a link out to, um, to everyone after it's really a great, uh, a great read. Attorney Knight, I see you being anxious to jump in. <laughs> well, well I, I just wanted to say that, yes, I, I have, uh, I am somewhat familiar with the, uh, with the, uh, with the freight cluster plan application mm -hmm. and, uh, and the various stages of uh, procedure and the requirements that the Atlanta Regional Co uh, Commission uh, has for uh, the parameters of the grant. Yes, ma'am. Okay, awesome. I will make sure that we get that out to everyone so that you all can start reviewing. It's really, really great, a great read. Um, it's a lot. So definitely take your time and go through <laughs> Attorney Knight's like, yeah, it's a lot, but a really, really great read um, and definitely will help us along the way. So our other charges is that we will monitor and assist with evaluations of the freight cluster study, the PAP study and the trail study uh, initiatives. Uh, the Stonecrest Transportation Committee may uh, thereafter from time to time offer additional written recommendations to the council as it relates to the Stonecrest Master Transportation Plan. We'll definitely do some research 
of city matters of interest and importance related to the city transportation from heavy rail to light rail to bus rapid transit um, and the mobility distribution strategy. So that is our charge and our objectives for this committee. Um, I see it being a lot of work ahead of us. A lot of conversations need to be had. Um, Mr. Barnett is shaking his head, yes. Uh, a lot of conversations need to be had. And so with that being said, we need to come up with a meeting schedule according to the agenda. I'm not sure what everyone's schedule looks like, maybe once a month. Um, we could meet for maybe an hour. I'm sure it may go over an hour, but I think once a month to get us started would be sufficient enough. What does the committee say? That once, works well for me. Once a month, okay. Once a month, once a month is agreeable with me. Okay. Likewise. Okay. Mr. Lawrence, I can't hear you. You're saying something, but I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Is that better? I'm going to get a little bit closer. <laughs> yes, get close. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's an agreement. I mean, I see this as a working committee yes. with a lot of subgroups. So yes. even though we might meet once a month, I, I certainly see a lot of other meetings in the subgroups, uh, especially if we're gonna be doing like really real work, which I, I know we are. So yeah. there'll, there'll be plenty of meetings. Uh, once a month will be a, a pretty good cadence. Absolutely. I, I okay, awesome. Attorney Knight, are you okay with once a month? I think, uh, I think Mr. Lawrence's observations are 100% accurate. You know, uh, our go there is gonna be a lot of material to go over, but optimally it's probably going to be breaking it into various areas for the subcommittees, which will probably be reasonably frequently. So uh, yes, once a month for the main committee, unless, and we can always, if, 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 if as chair, if the chair feels that we need more, we can always do special call meetings. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm sure we will see many of those <laughs> because of you the said, amount of work that's done. I'm at sorry, least, Mayor at least once a month, and you oh. want to try to pick a regular date for that? Yes, yeah, so that was going to be my next. So we're agreed oh, once okay. a month. Is everybody okay with the Tuesday? Um, I'm open for Wednesday or Thursday, totally up to the committee. Um, what say you? Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, we probably need to the city to see what meetings are already scheduled to see what day is available. Okay. We can only task the city employees so much. So I think maybe we give some options and okay. then just let, um, give that to uh, our, our city manager to see which days would you know work best for, um, for. <laughs> Jim has a thumb up. I see you, Jim. <laughs> yes, definitely, we can do that. That, that. that is definitely not a problem. So. I can get with Jim and just kind of get back with the committee via email. I have everybody's email um, and then I can send that out to everyone and we can agree on um, whatever works best for the entire committee. Yeah. And, and we'll do a couple. We'll kind of give them some options if that's okay. Maybe a couple of dates and times to choose from. Okay. Let me also say that uh, right now we're able to use Zoom with the virtual meetings. Okay. Uh, but I anticipate this COVID uh, hopefully disappears uh, <laughs> sometime soon. Uh, these meetings uh, will have to be uh, in person okay. uh, because of the open meeting uh, laws. Yes. Um, so keep that in mind. And uh, what time of day do we want to meet? Uh, 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock? Uh, yes. Consider that. Uh -huh. And the sooner you get your request in, uh, the better, because there is a master uh, calendar. So uh, come up with your date uh, present it to city staff and see if they can accommodate and we can communicate it to everybody else. Okay, I will do that as soon as this meeting is over. I will send it to uh, Jim and Miss Harris and who who else? Miss Jackson and who else do I need to send it? I that's, that's, send it to that's probably enough. That's, that's probably enough. enough. <laughs> yeah. um, but did you get a general consensus as to when we want to shoot for? We did not. I think uh, the city jumped in and kind of said, hey, let's look at the calendar. So I'm thinking either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. 
um, would be our options. Okay. If the committee is okay with those three days being our options. Yes, no? Okay. Yes, okay. Um, and then we can kind of float with the time, 6, 6.30, 7, um, based on whatever the calendar yields. Okay. Okay. Next on the agenda is set agenda for the 2022 fiscal year. I don't know that we are ready to set um, the agenda just yet. Um, we can do that in the interim. I can communicate with everybody kind of via email to just kind of get a grasp of what we will be discussing um, over the next couple of months. If I may. Yeah, Tim, did you want to say something? Yeah, I kind of put that item in there. Okay. And I know it's, I know it's vague, but <laughs> let me go back to um, our duties. Sure. One thing we talked about is making recommendation to council regarding um, resolution of the most desired modes of transportation in the areas of heavy mm -hmm. rail. Yeah. Uh, someone needs to take a look at what's going on with MARTA and be responsible for communicating that to the committee mm -hmm. as to um, what's in the news, uh, what's going on at the MARTA uh, meetings. I'm not sure if you want to um, attend the board meeting, but it would be good to still follow up by whatever means you could get communication from the plans coming from MARTA as it relates to South DeKalb, uh, because that's a big part of the transportation uh, movement in Stonecrest is, is what's happening with heavy rail. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's another movement mm -hmm. with light rail. Mm -hmm. So we need to take a look at that. Uh, in addition to uh, bus rapid transit, mm -hmm. that is a consideration. So th th these are all elements that we need to take on as it relates to transportation into mm -hmm. Stonecrest. And uh, I had to put in uh, A.T.L. Yeah. Uh, that's not for Atlanta. Uh, okay. The acronym stands for something that's not coming to me right now, but it <laughs> is the um, regional uh, transit uh, system that's being put together. Uh, to cover Metro Atlanta. So uh, that needs to be followed. So when I uh, mentioned that transportation was to be a part of another committee, there's no way transportation committee will probably wind up being split into several other committees uh, other than just subcommittees, some bona fide uh, full-fledged uh, committees. Uh, then you need to also take a look at um, other mobility strategies. And I did that to, co to cover uh, the freight cluster study uh, mm -hmm. that is already being taken on by ARC. And uh, I'm not sure how we intend to monitor or to stay involved with what's going on with the freight cluster study. And I, I, I know that our director of uh, economic development uh, was heavily involved with getting it started, but we need to be represented there uh, yeah. in terms of just gathering information. So someone has to take that on. And uh, of this group, who's a member of the NAACP? Uh, I ask that because a uh, group. Do you know about the meeting on Saturday? I will Saturday, be there. The, yes. the NAACP <laughs> is talking transportation. We yeah. need to have someone at the table uh, to know what some of those um, discussion issues are mm -hmm. and make sure that Stonecrest is aware and involved. So. Yeah. Uh, those are just some things I wanted to bring out in terms of assignment. And I know we all can't attend all of those functions. So uh, at some point, we're going to have to set an agenda yes. and make some assignments as to who <laughs> is going to spearhead what element of the our transportation initiative. I'm retired from MARTA, but it's still hard for me to keep up with what's going on there. So someone needs to take that on as a charge, yeah. as well as uh, we just heard from Mr. Uh, Jordan, uh, Kelly Jordan, talking about the path yeah. and trails. Yeah. Someone needs to take the lead on it. Otherwise, we all talked about it, but no one's doing anything about it. So someone's got to take the responsibility to say, I will be the point person for this particular element. So I think, I think what yeah. we'll do, Mayor Pro Tem, is I'll list out all of the initiatives that we have. 
um, and send those out via email so everybody can kind of take a look at and whatever their interest in, is, they can definitely um, let me know. And then I, at our next meeting, we can discuss the assignments in uh, possibly the subcommittees. And we may even have to like jump on a, a meeting to really kind of like discuss it because sometimes email, you get lost in email, you know, the wording just kind of get confused. And so outside of a public meeting, we may, if possible, just kind of have to jump on and have a brainstorming meeting about where we're going and what we're doing in all of those initiatives. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes, and sometimes you have to put them on the spot. Put me on the spot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right now, um, uh, according to Mr. Jordan, we're missing some opportunities to take advantage mm -hmm. of some, possibly some grants as mm -hmm. it relates to uh, the, the trail study. And I think we need not wait for our next meeting 30 days from now. We need to uh, ask someone to take that on now and communicate to us. It doesn't take much to send out an email to let people know, well, this is what we found out and uh, this is what you need to know and we need to take swift action or we need to call a special meeting to address a particular item based on what has been discovered. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I see Ms. Price blinking. Mm -hmm affirmatively about <laughs> <laughs> assisting with uh, the trails. Yeah. yeah, I'll take the trails. <laughs> see, see how I read that? <laughs> Strong proponent of and, those trails. Uh, and Mr. Turner, this is Kelly again. I certainly uh, offer myself up uh, to help with that, work with Kendra and anybody else. We, we, uh, we do have 20 years of experience getting trails built. And I can tell you that like a lot of things, when it's through, it looks like you just put a little path in there. It never goes easily. There's always wrinkles and challenges. And the more you know about that, the more you can avoid making plans that are not realistic. So um, I, don't, I don't offer myself to control the process, but I do offer myself to be, to be, to be, a, to be uh, the experience and, and, and to help with that. Well, you can't get this train moving if we don't take the first step. So, uh, Ms. Price and Mr. Jordan, if you guys would take the first step and communicate that to uh, the committee as to what's next. Uh, and uh, we can work with the SPLOS committee and formulate a recommendation to council um, post haste. Consider it done. And, and I, I, am, I am definitely also passionate about the trails. This seems like this seems like one of these opportunities for for several of us to assist because I, I think this is going to be important enough yeah. uh, from a perspective of a teaming or a collaborative ap approach. We all got different skill sets, so definitely count me in. Also, uh, I am available for some of the other assignments okay. uh, that you guys have mentioned, but but certainly uh, I'm more than willing to help out with the trails in addition to the other folks mentioned. Okay. So yeah, you got a subcommittee. Bam, just like well, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ms. Ms. Williams and yeah. Councilman Turner, I mean, could could we could we could we say right now yeah. this evening that, that we have a working uh, trails uh, subcommittee that's open to more people joining? But that would be, you know, Mr. Lawrence, Ms. Price, and myself, with Ms. Price as the chairperson. Mm -hmm. I would like to join that as well. Mr. Jordan, I'm sorry, say that one more time. You, you want us to vote on the subcommittee? Is that what I hear? Well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing off, uh, you know, Councilman Turner's statement that, you know, uh -huh. no reason to brook any delay. And so you're free, of course, to make changes in the future. I'm just saying if everybody's willing to proceed and get to work for, for you as, as chair and the members to uh, go ahead and appoint a subcommittee that so far is comprised of you know, Selvin Lawrence and Kendra Price and myself with uh, Ms. Price as chairperson. Madam Chair? Yes. Yeah. I move that we uh, establish a subcommittee uh, composed of Ms. Kendra Price, Mr. Kevin Lawrence, and Mr. Alan Burnett uh, to work on the uh, PATH uh, project. Okay, can I get a second, please? Okay. okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 <laughs> aye. 
All opposed? None. Motion carries. We have just established our first uh, trails uh, subcommittee of the Transportation Committee. Congratulations. Quick work. Yay. Um, so this is going to be good. Kendra, are you okay with being the chair? I think I can manage that with all the great help I have. Yes, you have a lot of help and probably more is coming. <laughs> yes, we can make it happen. Uh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, this is great. Um, as we move along, are there any I think other... Mr. Knight's hand's been up for a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry, Attorney Knight. I do apologize. I was getting ready to go to comments. And uh, yes, please go ahead, Attorney Knight. Uh, uh, well, my question was both to you and to the Mayor Pro Tem. Are we uh, at a point where it is right to talk about a establishing a subcommittee for the uh, for the uh, freight cr cluster plan and reaching out to the ARC and uh, at least initiating contacts about that and discovering uh, ascertaining where, where things are to make sure that we don't uh, fall behind in any respect. Absolutely. Well, in, the, in that case, I'd, I would certainly like to volunteer for the committee. Um, I know a little bit of everything that's happened thus far, so I think I could be of assistance there. Are you volunteering to be the chair of the uh, Frank subcommittee? Uh, if, if that's... <laughs> This committee, I'll take on that burden. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, can I get a motion on the floor to establish the freight subcommittee? Uh, there are other members uh, you want to assign? We can do it all at once. Yes. Okay. Anybody else want to volunteer? Attorney Knight, Mr. Burnett? I do. <clears throat> okay. Anybody else? I'll volunteer. I, I, will, I will go on that committee. Okay. Absolutely. Mr. Lawrence, did we lose you? Would you like to be on that committee as well? Or are you okay with just staying on the trails committee? Looks like we're having, uh, I, I know I'm interfering. <laughs> I'm okay. pretty bad about that. Uh, but okay. the three member uh, subcommittees, uh, I think just targeted as being prime. I, 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 I don't want to interfere and cut you short, but uh, I would make a, a Madam Chair, a motion. Madam Chair. Yes, go ahead. I move to establish a freight cluster study committee uh, composed of Mr. Uh, Bernard Knight, Mr. J.W. Eady, and Mr. Alan Burnett, with Mr. Knight as chair. Absolutely. Can I get a second, please? Second. So moved. We have a uh, motion has been made to establish the freight cluster study uh, plan committee. Uh, with Mr. Bernard Knight as the chair. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. All opposed? None. Motion carries. Awesome. Okay. So we've established two subcommittees. Thank you. Thank you. This is good. This is a really, really good start. And so um, I'll be sending out um, emails and um, you all can kind of get started. Um, I don't know that we need to do anything else according to the agenda. Are there any comments, anything else that needs to be done tonight before we adjourn? And uh, I promise I do not want to uh, uh, try to dominate this committee. Uh, I do apologize for my uh, it, it interference. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to let the chair run this committee, uh, but uh, we did this in a hurry and we yeah. did not communicate as much as we should have prior to. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot is being done on the fly, and mm -hmm. that works to a certain degree. Uh, but uh, Ms. Williams, I do respect your position as chair, and I don't want to uh, overly interfere. So we'll communicate prior to the meetings in the future. Uh, but we also make sure that we have minutes of yeah. the meetings, uh, and this is to be the minutes are to be published. And right now we have a staff person on uh, the call, Ms. Harris, to make sure that we capture all of that and communicate uh, what is necessary to be communicated amongst the members. So that has been done. Uh, we did not elect officers. Uh, and like I said, in the bylaws, uh, there was no provision for that. Uh, but I think at some point we need to add to our bylaws provision for election of officers. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, because um, so since it wasn't uh, for the public's benefit, I did, as uh, 
Mayor Pro Tem appoint Ms. Erica Williams as chair to get us started. We'll need a vice chair and we'll need a secretary of record. So keep that in mind for future meetings as well. And um, beyond that, I think that has covered most of what I uh, needed to say this evening. So I think we're getting off to a good start. Yeah. And if other people want to be members of this committee, or if you know of someone you want to recommend to this committee, have them to contact uh, any city council uh, member or uh, the city manager or uh, the chair of the committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll bring those uh, persons name to the group for consideration or to council for consideration. But there's room for all of us to serve on this committee, but there's just so much, so much to be done along the lines of transportation. And we didn't even talk about I-20 and 285. Uh, that is another <laughs> uh, a sore point where the traffic backs up to uh, turn a hill on a daily basis. And uh, we need to at least know what's going on if we can't affect what's going on because it certainly affects us. Uh -huh. And it affects the growth of the city. So um, I, I, I cannot emphasize enough as to how important this committee is when it comes to addressing access to the city, mobility within the city, and the economic development of the city. So yeah. Transportation Committee, thank you for agreeing to serve. And uh, Ms. Williams, I promise to get out your way and let you run your committee. Thank you for allowing me to say my piece. Absolutely. Listen, it is perfectly okay. I am a collaborator, team player, and we are all in this together. Um, we did not have a lot of communication prior to the meeting, so this is perfect. Um, it's all in order as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of, again, a lot of great information. Um, I do want to concentrate on uh, sidewalks. I think me and Attorney Knight have had some conversations about that, especially um, where um, Covington Highway and Lithonia Industrial cross by the Quick Trip. Um, I definitely want to start conversations about that um, and getting that started, or at least the conversations um, and involvement um, and going from there. So. We'll be talking about a lot of great things. Start thinking. I'm sure the wheels are turning. A lot of reading, a lot of conversations. Um, and any other comments before we adjourn? Councilman Grimes, would you like to say anything? Believe it or not, there's sometimes when she's not talking. So I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> you got to capture this one. <laughs> okay. Anybody else would like to make? Any comments uh, before we adjourn, Mr. Edie, Kendra, uh, Mr. Allen, but Mr. Um, Attorney Knight, anybody? Nobody wants to talk? Kendra, you took yourself off mute. Did you want to say I was something? just going to say, no, it's, thank you for, um, you know, running the meeting. Thank you for having me. I think it's a joy to be a part of the committee, a committee, but I do feel like we're, I have Zoom fatigue. I'll say that. I've been on Zoom <laughs> since nine o'clock this morning. So oh, wow. a little quiet, but we have a lot of good work ahead of us. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, if there is nothing else and all hearts and minds are clear, can I get a motion to adjourn the first? Stonecrest, City of Stonecrest Transportation Committee. I make a motion. I hear you, Attorney Knight. Night. You're on mute, I'm sorry. Move to adjourn. Second, please. Second. Awesome. Yeah. Motion has been made to adjourn. Uh, second, all in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> all opposed? Not meeting is adjourned. You all have an amazing evening and I will be in touch. And I also sent out a contact list um, to the committee members so that we all have each other phone numbers and emails, okay? Thank you. All thank right. You, have Madam a great evening. Thank you, thank you, Mayor for Tim. Thank you. <laughs>